let's evaluate a resource based on its authority. For an example, we'll look at this online article about Fire Shut Up in My Bones, the first opera written by a Black composer to be presented at the Met. The first step is to figure out what kind of authority this resource might have. This one is pretty straightforward. It's from the Associated Press, a general news website. It's relatively short, has lots of ads, and the writing is pretty straightforward and easy to read. So if it has authority, it's got to be journalistic authority. Now we start asking questions. And first, some general questions. What kind of evidence do they provide? This article has quite a few direct quotes from Charles Blow, the subject of the opera, Terence Blanchard, the composer, and the librettist, Casey Lemons. We can't tell if they consulted any other sources, since they aren't listed in the text or in citations at the bottom. And it's good that they interviewed people so close to the opera, but it's still only three people, which is a little bit limiting. And now the second question, what are the author's potential biases? For that, we need to know who the author is. For news articles, you can usually find the author at the top. In this case, it's Mike Silverman. If I Google him, I can try and find more about him. Looks like he keeps his personal views pretty private. All I'm seeing is that he's a reporter, and has been for quite a while, and he often reports on music and especially opera. So unfortunately, we can't say too much about his biases, except that we can assume that he got paid for writing this article. So he would want it to be eye-catching and interesting to a broad audience. Now we ask specific questions for journalistic authority. First, what else has the author published and what was its quality? Mike Silverman has written a variety of articles on music and opera. Just to save time for this video, I can tell you they're all pretty decent articles as far as short, generic news articles go. Next, how many sources did they consult? We already know that one too. Three sources, all direct quotes from people. Finally, does the publication have a reputation for accurate, unbiased reporting? For the Associated Press, I would say yes, it's pretty well regarded in the journalism world. So overall, I would say yes, this resource does have authority. But since we know it's journalistic authority and only used a few sources, it's definitely an incomplete look. There is much, much more to learn about this production, or the Met's history of inequality, especially in programming choices, or about inequalities in the opera and music world in general, or about composers who use jazz and typically classical music genres, and so much more. So unless you just need a basic overview of the opera, you're most likely going to need to find many more resources, and many different types of resources from many different types of authority levels.